Hey guys and welcome to another video and today it will be a bit different because actually th this build that I made is actually specifically for a petition that I'll be entering for another YouTuber called Trixie Blocks. I'll leave the link to his channel in the description and also to the Discord server if you want to join him. But without further ado, let me show you my build so far and possibly I mean if I would I will add more if you have more suggestions leave them leave them down in the comments so yeah let's us go directly in so yeah, uh, yeah. oops I want oops no no oops there you go. Let's, let's actually go properly so yeah uh, the thing is this is the entrance from our I guess cave portal which I didn't know where it's going to lead anyway to our kind of like a shrine uh, the, for the portal so and then so these kind of the armor stands with the netherite armor and the gold armor represent kind of like the guards that are kind of like a guard statue like a statue of the guards that protect this sanctuary of the nether village that is actually the goal and so I obviously put a lot of gold design because nether there's a lot the uh, Piglins actually love gold, so I kind of made it seem like it was originally built by the piglins here. But yeah, so and also I incorporated there was this kind of like a, a rock hill here, so I kind of incorporated the same thinking like maybe they kind of carved it, but they decided to leave sort of a natural aspect to it. So like yeah, so you can see it's still kind of still there, but. And then I use the the polished basalt to kind of make these. So I try to use all kind of a nether style build since this is a nether village. And I obviously use the fireplace with the soul fire because again, soul is kind of a thing in the nether. So and this one, if you know, this is the polished black snow, which also looked nice in the build. And I I know. The Ender Dragons are technically end, not nether, but I just felt this is a nice touch to the kind of the build itself. And you see it, you can't see it here, but here you can see it's there's a lever on the side. But I mean, if you're not looking at there, or like you can't see, you can see it a little bit, but like this, you can see. But at least I put like also kind of like a wither skulls here to kind of at least say this is a nether place. And uh, just right across from, well, I guess beside it is actually a boathouse. It's a small boathouse made with a uh, crimson door which is a crimson root or I forgot it's called crimson stem stem not root yeah with made with those but I mean I just use creative but yeah so this is my boathouse inside as you can see there's like hay bales kind of like because this is like kind of a trading post in a sense so like they have their own kind of stacks of hay Maybe they imported it from somewhere. And I also kind of filled up these barrels with fishes and carrots and potatoes to kind of represent that they also imported those. And maybe, maybe I might put another barrel with nether warts because there is a nether wart farm, so maybe they export nether warts. So yeah, and then here, instead of boats, because boats wouldn't make sense in lava, I used. Uh, uh, Striders, which are the new nether mobs, I mean, in, that were introduced in the nether updates, so that you can actually ride them. I mean, there's also a gate, and they're actually tied with the uh, leads, so like they're kind of kept at bay so that they don't escape. And then you, you can open the gate and untie them, their lead, and obviously head to where you want to get your materials from that is not necessarily from the nether. Obviously, also you can't get, I think, obviously you can't get potatoes and other stuff because you can't have water in the whole nether. You can only have water either in overworld or uh, end, I believe end, but I'm not 100%. But yeah, so if I now go up these stairs, you now enter the village, which I actually, rather than putting piglins, because for some reason piglins actually disappear. And, or, or either that, or they somehow turn into zombie piglets. Oh, and also, I did set it to peaceful, so that, zo that actually caused less zombie piglets. But for some reason, they still turned into zombie, maybe zombie piglets, which means they disappear because they're hostile. So I just decided to put regular villagers into my 
nether village, even though technically just assume those villagers are actually piglins, but I'm wearing masks, I guess, as a villager. So let's actually head to this uh, man, man. Actually, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna change that name to manor. Yes, yeah, so it's a, it's a small, but it's a big, it's a sem, it's a second biggest structure other than the town hall, which I'll show you in the last. Part of this video, but yeah, so this is the second biggest build. So it's called the Piglins Manor because it is technically another villager. As I said, assume those are piglins, not villagers. But yeah, so now let's go in. So, in a sense, I kind of imagine that this piglin that lives here is kind of like rich, so he has a lot of gold. So, in his chest, there will be like, oh, I should have 21. Minutes. So yeah, uh, so yeah uh, they have bull, because they said it should have 21 there, but I must have misclicked somehow. But yeah, so they are rich and they have gold. And in a sense, they mine their own. Their, this piglin would be kind of like the miner piglin, or like the blacksmith piglin, I guess. And not miner, necessarily, maybe a blacksmith. Maybe there's a separate miner that lives somewhere else that get, gathers the gold ores, and then he kind of makes them into... So like, that's why I put these last one is to represent that he is kind of like the guy who makes it into gold and makes the gold armors and stuff. Well actually, let me, that actually gave me an idea to add a gold, gold stuff. So like he, he made this, I guess. Listen. And maybe actually I'm also going to get a sword, if I can spell sword. Uh, into the item frame so to represent that he kind of crafts gold tools as well because you know in, in this world in nether if he can stop making those noises please uh, yeah so this their favorite material is gold and actually let me also reduce the sound if, hopefully let me actually lower it very lower so that you can hear me in case but yeah so their favorite material is gold like the piglins so that's why i kind of based it off but yeah so here this is a castle i'll show you also in later parts and then there's a few villagers that are other and let's just pass by yeah so also i had made these kind of custom um lamp posts so i made it with the soul lantern with the crimson fence and nether brick wall and then block to kind of make a kind of a more dimension to it than just putting the block in the fence. I kind of wanted to make more just simple than simple. And also I, as you can see I added different uh, green greenery I guess stuff. Well I don't know if they're green or stuff because they're not really green. But yeah you, go, you, you know what I mean. I placed these if I'm not mistaken, they're called mush fungus, yeah, not mushroom, but fungus, yeah. And as you can see, it's kind of like, because it's also a village, I kind of thought that they should also have kind of like a farm, but because they can't have water, they instead use lava as their source of water. So like, it looks kind of like the overall farm, but instead they grow nether warts on the soil sand instead of dirt, and use lava as the somewhat of a water rather than actual water and there's another same thing going on here and this one is as you can say, see what I wrote there is a farmhouse and in the farmhouse it's very simple so I actually just well I didn't I didn't really explain but the one in the mansion is a double bed whereas here is more of a single bed I purposely didn't put the a real bed because I know if I accidentally click on the bed it will explode so to prevent that I kept it a fake bed but try to keep its original look so like kind of like the legs in a sense and the original the default bed that existed in Minecraft which is the white and red and similarly they have their own furnace maybe to cook their food chest that's empty I could probably put something in there maybe the actual like nether words maybe and actually wait since he technically these are uh, they have the those and this is nether Maybe, um, what was it called? Uh, brewing stand. I was trying to think of brewing stand, but I was only, I could only think of the word potion. 
for some reason. Yeah, maybe he also does a bit of potions for these people. But yeah, maybe he's the owner. And I also put in these composters. I purposely, well, I just realized one of the guys emptied it. I originally had this filled to the top, whereas the other one was semi-empty. So like, it will look as if... Let me actually... Uh, give all Minecraft barrier because I I want to actually sorry you will have to go I'm sorry if these because I don't want them to actually access those and like take out I'm gonna put barrier so that they don't actually act oh no. They can't access those in real. Like I originally didn't think like that, but I actually realized that that's a good way to keep it. I'm actually just also going to throw these. I actually have to see one which will see. Oh yeah, also if you play with with creative, you can actually now. I don't. I didn't know, but you can apparently put. You can do C1 to C1, C2 up to I guess C9. Like if you just click C9 or like C1. You'll actually save the hotbar, and it, like it'll be really great for crafting. I mean, building stuff. If you want to keep that hotbar as part of your thing, but anyway, yeah, that's just an extra. And then you use X1 to kind of let's say, for example, like I don't have it, but I want, for example, I want that C1 hotbar. Then I already saved the C1, so if I just do X1, I get that back. So it's the exact same hotbar that I had. I'll, I'll show you maybe later more, but, but yeah. So here now, let's go to the town hall, the final build of this, the massive build that I built. <laughs> built, build that I built. Yeah, so there's obviously the wither rose, kind of that represents the nethery aspect, because wither is, in a sense, related to nether, because you make it with the wither skeleton. And then you get the rose from killing the wither, if I'm not mistaken. I actually never beat the... Vanilla Minecraft survival officially, but yeah. So yeah, this is the main entrance. Okay, and if you actually enter, technically, actually, that gave me another idea. Uh, yeah, so there will be a reception now, official reception. Huh? Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, so there's now a reception. Exist. Actually, I could technically. I don't know. Can they open trap doors? I haven't tested this uh, before. Let's see. Let me see if this guy opens, comes out. No, he can't. So he's now stuck there without the barriers. So yeah, uh, there's a lot of villagers as you can see. But anyway, just ignore them. So yeah, this is like this waiting area in case you want to meet the mayor himself. Or any other, you need any service help. So yeah, this first floor you can see is the mayor's office. You go in, so it's kind of like a this is like kind of a guest seating, and this is where the mayor sits. So this is kind of like a PC, which looks a bit weird. I also uh, let me just see if there's any iron related thing. Um, I don't think there's much. I mean, I could use, but let me actually also add some more stuff while I'm at it. Pressure. Then there's also a pressure plate. Because I want to kind of add a bit of volume. So it's a kind of, it looks kind of like a PC. So that's a kind of, it's an old PC, let's just say. They, maybe they're kind of old school PC. So yeah, he sits here. Or else he can sit there. And there will be a kind of a guest speaking to him. Or like a secretary, maybe. But I guess the reception can also be semi secretary. But yeah, uh, we'll visit that later. So yeah, and then there's the upper area, which is supposed to be quite... Uh, apparently quite cramped, and a lot of people in here. But anyway, it's supposed to represent kind of cubicles here. And then this is like each office space, so each villager will sit there. Let me actually boot... Oh, oh no, what did I break? I don't know. Uh, Uh, let me actually put barrier blocks, each one of them. 
please get out. I'm sorry if you guys are seeing this weirdly, but I had to do this. Uh, I'm gonna boot out some of these guys. Uh, baby villagers are going to be annoying. Okay, that's temporarily. You see it? There we go. So I'm trying to at least keep them in their cubicle again. Let's try to also get rid of some of these guys. Oh no. Yeah, let me let me do this. And let me I'll also try to what I'm gonna do is bring out my diamond eggs. Which also is good. <laughs> sorry if you're <laughs> this it's not conventional, but I had to. Sorry. You guys are going to stay in your cubicle forever. At least, uh, that that's a forever cubicle, I guess. For, for that, anyway, yeah. And then, so that's kind of like the office area where the the people who work here can to go to. There's actually more villagers than needs. So actually, I'm going to do. Well, I'll, I'll figure the the kind of infestation of villagers later. You won't have to see that anymore. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. But yeah, I use warp doors. As you can see, I use them a lot here. But yeah, there's also a balcony that I built, which is apparently a villager trapped me out. Yeah, but yeah, so like the, maybe the mayor comes out here and kind of sees around. And I actually didn't explain that, but that's kind of like a meat that's being cooked on the, the fire. Soul fires. Kind of like if there was actual piglin, they would be kind of eating that. So, yeah, this is. Oh, and also, this is actually a functional cooler, a water cooler. So, if you actually press this button, these people actually get away. You actually get water. I'm just going to put that back so it's actually usable for others. But, yeah, so, and then this is the castle wall they built. So, they can actually walk on there. Uh, it's not supposed to be. Stand there, but I mean, you can you might as well stand here if you want to try to see. Yeah, I also kind of spawned random pig some there and kind of went there, but yeah, so that's the second floor and the wall, the second floor wall, castle wall shown. So, like, I also built this first floor apart, it's kind of narrow. Like, I mean, I was kind of trying to make it as small as possible, but yeah, so this is like the castle gate, which you can see there are some villagers that came out. But yeah, I used the crimson door here again, and it comes back to this area where you see the manor, Piglin Manor. But yeah, I also used this tactic that someone told, uh, I heard on the video, where apparently the there's a kind of a glitch where the gate actually goes lower when it's beside a uh, uh, brick wall or any wall, cobblestone wall, because the wall isn't as high as the fence, that those one. So, and then the middle one just stays as it's normal because it's not connected to any wall. So it looks as if it was an arching gate, an arching fence. So it, it was a nice touch to this house, I think. And yeah, so I, as I said, this is all that. And also I built another kind of a separate wall. I guess I could also make it a tower if I ever wanted to, but anyway, yeah. So this is kind of the castle wall to this side so it's kind of enclosing to make sure there in, in, in if there were kind of hostile mobs which obviously it's peaceful but if there were they would know that they are protected by this wall except obviously if host, there's flying hostile mobs like gas which would kill them but i mean let's not think that far i mean i could also probably build like a kind of turret looking thing so like they can kill the gas if they want but yeah, that's about it for my build. So there was the shrine that you saw when I entered, which you can see from the outside. There's lots of gold, as you can see, with the kind of a roof design that I just made up on the wall. Oh, actually, I just realized this is not placed right. Let me fix that. 
But yeah, that's like a roof design that I actually made on my own. No inspiration at all. I mean, obviously a bit of inspiration is kind of like a art, a uh, reverse art roof. There's obviously the boathouse that I showed you that has the red nether brick, which is not the original with the striders there. There's the, oh, actually I should also tell you, this is the kind of the stairway that we went, the pathway that we took. As you can see, I kind of align, I put these kind of as the kind of like a holding piece, and then where the hold, the, the, the parallel to the holding, where holding piece is, I decided to rather than just have that every other place, which would look weird, I'd have these uh, chiseled, pol chiseled, polished blackstone. That's wordful. Mouthful, not wordful. Oh, actually, I just realized this is also wrong. This is supposed to be two, two, two by two by two. But yeah, so that's as you can see, same thing here. It would go same, and then again here, and obviously at the top would be the kind of the stairs that would be kind of the main, also kind of a decorated design. Which was nice. Because I actually think I got that from ideas from people making different pillars on YouTube videos. But yeah. And then, yeah, and then there's the manor, Piglet Manor, the town hall, the farmhouse slash, I guess, potion master. Um, I mean, I guess I could, if I wanted to, I could probably make another house somewhere and have the kind of a miner's hut because there's a lot more villagers than it is. And I also try to kill some because I feel like it was overcrowding. But yeah, um, so I think that's about it for my build. And so I guess I would add a goodbye <laughs> in a way. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. And also leave down in the comments if there's anything that you would like to, me to add to this build that you might think would be a great addition to this village. I have I'm going to probably keep this village going until 28th, which is the submission date for this competition. So yeah, and you can actually check out Trixie Blocks channel and Discord server, which I'll link, put the links down in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!